channel. So today's look is just a very glowy, bronzy, summertime, just overall glowy look. And I could not have done this without the Glam Glow Glow Setter. It's absolutely one of the best. Like if you want dewy skin, if you want it super hydrating, I know I have combination skin. So pretty much I have oily and dry skin. So this keeps my face looking super dewy and this is perfect, perfect for the summertime if you want like that extra glow and that extra dewiness. This setting spray will definitely make that happen. And you can get this already at Sephora. Honestly, it's one of the best sprays out there. It smells good. And keep in mind that you can keep an extra bottle inside the fridge, which I did. And oh my god, it makes such a huge difference. When it hits your face right that instant, you just feel super cool. And it just smells so freaking good. So what the glow setter does, it definitely makes your face look super hydrating, super dewy, and I absolutely love how this feels on my skin. Usually setting sprays feel like sticky and this does not make me feel that way at all. It makes my skin look super healthy and most of all, it just doesn't feel uncomfortable, which I love about the glow setter. So if you guys want to know how I created this look, please keep on watching and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys! Okay guys, so let's first start off with our primer. I already moisturized and everything, so we're good to go. When I do a summer look, I always like to apply something luminous, just make my skin super dewy, and I really like that look. I like taking my Glam Glow Glow Setter, and this spray is so good, especially if you keep one inside the fridge. So, you know, it'd be refreshing. And yes, I apply so much of this because it also smells very good. As you can see, my skin is looking so much brighter. And what I like doing is just pressing the product into my skin like this. Like really in there. This foundation is just super luminous. The name of it says it all. This is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. And this is not the new one, this is like the old one, but still pretty good. I like just taking dots of it on my face and I am in the shade 7.5. So now that I have a pretty good amount on, I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender. And since I do want that dewy look, I am going to spray a little bit of the glow setter and I'm just gonna spray this everywhere around the beauty blender with a dewy sponge. <laughs> Let's start blending. So as you guys can see, my skin is looking so dewy right now. Glow setter is so bomb for all this. Like, especially if you have, you know, dry skin. I feel like this will be your best friend, to be honest. Okay, so now that we're good to go with our foundation, we're gonna apply our concealer. And for that, I'm gonna be using the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in Ginger, I believe. I'm just going to be concealing my under eye area. And if you have watched my videos for a long time, you guys know that I like concealing first and then highlighting with a much um, lighter concealer. It's just my favorite way to do it. So now I'm just gonna be blending. So now to give me a more brighter look, I like going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light medium. Down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and my chin, and on top of my cupid's bow. And <laughs> crazy. So since this concealer is a little bit more on the matte side, it does dry up very quickly, so you have to work super, super fast. The glow setter is perfect for this kind of thing. So I'm just going to be spraying more of this on the beauty blender and then blending my concealer. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but my skin is looking dewy right now, and I love that. So now to cream contour, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Stick Contouring Stick. 
And of course, don't forget your forehead. So back again with my Beauty Blender and spraying some of my Glow Setter on the booty side. Just gonna blend my cream contour. So we're not going to be baking today, but we are going to just add a little bit of powder under our eyes to set our concealer. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Bucket Powder in Translucent, and I'm going to be taking this Morphe G37 brush, taking a little bit of the powder and putting this on my hand. So this is what I've been doing lately, and it works so good. It's going to be now setting my concealer just doesn't add so much cakeness you know what I mean even though I don't look cakey when I do when I bake and then I'm gonna apply this on my chin area on my forehead it's kind of like I'm using a pressed powder but not really see I don't have any more powder I did use all of it up so I did not waste product <laughs> so now to set our face I do like using my good old Becca Cosmetics Kabuki brush and this is it right here so good to set your whole entire face again I like going on my hand and just so now that we have our whole entire face set we're going to go now with our bronzer. And the bronzer that I just love, I don't even think I can go back to any other bronzer. They're completely different brands, but you guys, they're affordable, they're a drugstore. Now I heard that BH Cosmetic is a drugstore um, company. That I'm just like, what? But that's super exciting. Um, this is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and the BH Cosmetics Satin Bronzer in Tropical Tan. You guys know these two right here. First, I go in with my butter bronzer, and this is in the shade also bronze. Going in with this Wet n Wild Large Stippling Brush and just going back and forth. And my forehead. Okay, so now that we have that on, I'm gonna go in with the Satin Bronzer in Tropical Tan from Beard Cosmetics just applying this only on this area right here so now for blush this is the benefit cosmetics california blush get the print on this blush it's like a sun kind of i like taking also a morphe m509 brush and what i like doing is just smiling like this so you can see your cheekbones a little bit more and i like taking a very light hand kind of like blending it upwards for like a very seamless look so now that we have the whole entire face done i like going back again with my glow setter just bring more of this i don't know if you guys can pick it up on the camera but my skin is looking so dewy and flawless now we're done with that i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then i'll see you guys right now okay guys so now that our eyebrows are done let's move on to eyeshadow so when i think about summer i think about peachy eyeshadows bronzy sometimes for today's look i'm gonna be using the Too faced sweet peach palette right here and i'm gonna be taking caramelized right here and with a makeup addiction of diffuse blender i'm just going to be taking this on my crease so now with a smudge brush i'm gonna be taking caramelized oh wait i don't think it's caramelized sorry it's candid peach so now that we're done with our eyeshadow, I'm literally just applying minimal today with my eyes because I want all my focus to be on my skin. I'm going to be taking peaches and cream and I'm just applying this color on my lid. So I'm going to be blending all the harsh lines with this Morphe M511 brush. 
So since we didn't do so much shimmer on our eyes, I am going to add a little pop in my inner corner. My good old Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in Blissful. So for our brow bone, I do like taking the same highlighter and applying this right underneath the brow bone. Okay, so now for our highlights. I'm gonna honestly not add any creams or anything because I feel like this will make everything happen for me. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, spraying a little bit of the glow setter first, just on like the cheek area. So now that that's drying up, I'm gonna go back in with the Oprah Cosmetics Blissful Shade. I'm taking my Morphe M510 brush. Wow. And then also on my chin, Cupid bow. So now for eyelashes, I think I'm gonna go in with like my Lash XO Lashes in Lucky Lola. Okay, so before we apply our eyelashes, we have to curl them first. When I curl them, um, they just blend better with my false lashes. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And now going in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And the eyelashes that I'm gonna be wearing today are the Lash XO Lashes. Don't have the packaging anymore because these are kind of old, but honestly, you can never tell on these kind of eyelashes because they're synthetic. I also have a coupon code and I also have it on my description bar. So you guys never forget that. So now that we have our lashes done, I'm gonna go in with this little mini travel a cosmetics no tug waterproof anti-aging gel eyeliner. <laughs> Should have just said eyeliner. Now that we're done with that, I'm gonna go in with this NYX Cosmetics Lip Liner and Nude Truffle. So this is a very, very close dupe to the MAC stripped down lip liner. So now I'm going to go in with this MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Dash O Spice. This liquid lipstick is a little bit nude for me, but we're going to go in with a gloss right now. So you see this is a very nudey color, but we're going to tone it down a little with my favorite lip gloss right now. This is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle. So pretty and you guys will see why it's my favorite. You see, it's so pretty, it's like the perfect nude gloss you want for the summertime. So last but not least, I'm gonna spray my face with the glow setter, just for that dewy finish. Okay guys, so that is it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I wanna give a huge, huge, huge thank you to Glam Glow for sponsoring this video and making all of this happen. Thank you Glam Glow so much, and I also wanna give a big thank you to you guys because without you guys, I would not have these kinds of opportunities. So thank you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, I'm really so, so, so super grateful for everything that's coming my way. And thank you guys so much for always watching my videos. You know who you are. I'm just so happy that, that Glam Glow reached out to me and I don't know, it's just so surreal to be working with them. It's crazy. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. And of course, if you guys don't like sponsor videos, I will always, always work with brands that I genuinely, genuinely love. So I will never say yes to brands that I'm not positive about or anything like that. And really like, this setting spray is so good. Like I'm gonna spray it again. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and till next time. Bye guys.